Now on Friday, the new president of Cyprus will meet the leader of the island's breakaway Turkish North. Both men have pledged to work to end the island's division, which has lasted since the Turkish invasion of 1974. Well, there's renewed optimism on Cyprus, despite the failure of several previous police plans. One emotive issue is how to restore property to all those displaced by the fighting. Barnaby Phillips has more. Driving across the divide into Turkish northern Cyprus. Like all Greek Cypriots, Andri cannot accept this border is legitimate. A journey back to the childhood home she fled 34 years ago as Turkish soldiers marched in. And this is a very familiar road for me because my, my grandfather's uh, house was on that side. The town of Famagusta. Beloved memories still vivid after all this time. She's brought us back to the house where she spent her first 13 years. She's mourned its loss ever since. But today, this is home to Tevide, a Turkish Cypriot. She's now lived here for 30 years. She's polite, if a little wary. It's my house in the sense that I grew up here. I, I am attached to it. It's my, it's my roots. This is where This is an awkward encounter. I watched two decent women carrying the weight of their island's history, but searching for common ground. Andri is haunted by the past, but she also knows the clock cannot be turned back. This is my bedroom. In a peace deal, not everyone will have their old homes returned. We must be able to undertake some risks for the sake of the reunification and for the sake of the solution. Uh, if we are uh, totally stiff on uh, certain things, we end up not being able to even talk and, and therefore um, make, the problem, make the problem even more difficult to handle. In 1974, years of ethnic violence culminated in the Turkish invasion. Thousands on both sides lost property and loved ones. Since then, Cyprus has been cut in two. Every attempt to end the division has failed. Now that the Greek Cypriots have elected a new president, there is more hope of a deal to reunify this island. But four years ago, it was the Greek Cypriots who rejected a UN deal, and by a very large margin. Now they must confront again the very painful issues involved in reunification. Andri used to come to this church as a child. After the division of Cyprus, it was out of bounds for years. Only recently has it been possible to return. She voted yes to the last UN plan, and she'll carry on dreaming that her island can be put back together. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Cyprus.